Okay, um, today I will be talking about uh, upgrade options for the Hewitt Packard 8300 Elite small form factor computer and uh, how you can upgrade it. So uh, basically, um, that diagram you see is the HP 8300 Elite Small Form Factor Motherboard and uh, you see the yellow box that's uh, that's the RAM slots for it and it has four DDR3 RAM slots uh, 240 pin supports up to PC 1280 so 1600 megahertz and supports up to supports 2 gigabytes to 8 gigabyte dim modules 240 pin and you see that um, green um, box which is highlighted that's uh, four SATA 6 ports so one of the ports will be populated with um, the DVD RW drive and uh, one of them will be uh, hooked up to your three and a half inch hard drive so what you want to do is you would like you would uh, use two two and a half inch um, storage devices so the first one would be a SSD and the Samsung Evo 86500 gigabyte SSD. And for the second storage device, it would be a Western Digital 2 terabyte, 2.5 inch hard drive. And that would all go into a IC dock 3.5 to 2.5 inch adapter. So you can put two 2.5 inch uh, storage devices into that IC dock 3.5 inch the 2.5 inch adapter and you see the orange box that's the PCIe that's the PC Express X16 ports so you have two of them on this computer but you you will only be able to use one so you will only be able to put a small form factor uh, graphics card in there and a very good one for this computer would be a GeForce GT 1032 gigabyte PCI Express X16 um, graphics card low profile of course don't get the tall one because that won't fit in this computer and the last thing here would be the CPU upgrade. If you got an i3 or an i5 CPU on this computer, then it would be recommended that you get an i7 3770 3.4 gigahertz uh, socket 1155 um, processor on it. So that would add a lot of horsepower to your computer and make it faster okay um, so in this uh, diagram you see the motherboard uh, diagram on the left and I uh, used arrows or directional vectors to uh, point to the various um, devices that you'll be adding to this computer so on the yellow uh, box you see the RAM module so the RAM modules that I, I prefer to put into this computer would be Corsair XMS3 PC 1060 10600 um, RAM module. So these are 1300, 33, 
megahertz DDR3 RAM module was 240 pin and you could put um, 8 gigabyte by 4 or in this case 4 gigabyte times 4 so that's 16 gigabytes uh, 240 pin RAM DIMMs so if you wish to put 32 you could but 16 should be enough in my opinion to run uh, Windows 10 on it so no problems with that so as for the green highlight green box that would be um, the storage devices so that's the SATA 6 slots connectors or ports whatever you want to call it so you could put the Samsung you could hook up the Samsung Evo 860 500 gigabyte SSD to one of those ports and you can also hook up uh, a Western Digital 2 terabyte SATA 2.5 inch hard drive to another one of those uh, SATA 6 ports and you could put all of that all of those two devices into the IC dock 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch adapter which you see on the far right so that's basically three and a half inches that's a that will go into a three and a half inch bay I'm sorry so that's what uh, your old hard drive was in that three and a half inch bay so you will take that hard drive out and replace it with the SSD and the two and a half inch hard drive two terabyte hard drive so you would have more storage capacity and faster storage capacity so you would install the operating system on the Samsung Evo 860 500 gigabyte SSD and you would use your Western Digital 2 terabyte SATA 6 2.5 inch hard drive as a secondary hard drive and as for the CPU uh, you see the picture and uh, you see the blue aqua uh, box on the motherboard and it's leading to the CPU so that's how the CPU looks like it's i7 3770 socket 1155 processor you could buy it on eBay or Amazon or whatever and these processors are not very expensive right now and uh, last thing I will be looking at would be the orange uh, box which are the PCI Express X16 ports so you would put in one graphics card into one of those ports so um, when you get the card like I said before it may come with a low profile bracket for the video card and in most cases they do come with it but sometimes they don't so if they don't you would just have to purchase a low profile bracket uh, for your video card and you could buy it on Amazon and I will put all the links in the video descriptions on where you could buy it so as for the power supply uh, you should have enough power to power all the devices that you will add into your computer without a problem and that's for the graphics card like I said you could pur purchase a low profile bracket if it doesn't come with it so as for the RAM um, like I said before you could add four gigabyte DDR3 or eight gigabytes or if you don't have a lot of money you could buy two gigabyte uh, DDR3s and have 
four of them and have eight gigabytes altogether. So, what depends on what you want. Um, yes, the i7 CPU should make your computer much faster than it was if you had an i3 or an i5 processor in your computer beforehand. And the SSD will naturally speed up boot times. And it will also make Windows 10 updates much faster compared to a standard hard drive. The secondary hard drive could be used to increase your storage capacity and it could also be used to move files, all your temp files, and uh, internet browser cache files. So you could uh, do that to save the wear and tear on your SSD because the more you write to your SSD, write and erase to it, uh, causes wear on your SSD drive. So you could mitigate that by having all the cache files or temporary files go into the hard drive instead of the instead of being written onto the SSD itself. And since it's much since it's four times bigger than the SSD you could store a lot more stuff in there so it's like secondary storage device so I also have a video on how you could upgrade the cooling system for this computer and I will leave it in the video description and cards as well and also on the end screen so you could just click on it and go there and see See how you can upgrade the cooling system for this computer and you may have to because when you add all these parts in it it will probably generate more heat than what was generated before the upgrade okay thank you for watching